past them in the opposite direction. Uh, <coughs> they were undecided about speed between perhaps 60 miles an hour to 200. The two of them couldn't make their minds up, the two brothers. So uh, they were equally uh, nonplussed <laughs> uh, and mystified by it all because again they couldn't see a, 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 an object causing the uh, mm. the shadow. Yeah. So that, that's interesting. We, we may get some more information, I don't know. At approximately 11.45 p.m. that same night, Peter and Winseal, with their two sons, Craig and Scott, were travelling along the M56 motorway in Cheshire when they too spotted a triangular-shaped craft between junctions 11 and 12. Here's David Caden again. Well, on the night of Sunday, the 1st of June, the Seal family, that's Mum and Dad, the sons, Scott and uh, Craig, who were 17 and 20 years of age, we're coming back from uh, Wales from holiday, back to Heaton Mersey in Stockport. And as they got to the uh, junction nine there, just behind us, uh, over the M6, this they saw this triangular object hovering over the farm behind me with lights on each corner, blue and red, uh, with white lights amongst them. Uh, way back they thought it was some lights on a, a tower because they were so still. They got to just past the junction here by the embankment and uh, the, the uh, triangle shot over the car at about 150 foot up and they experienced a sort of buzzing, humming noise as it went over uh, and then it went on to the opposite side of the motorway and followed down towards Stockport in their direction roughly about 200 yards into the field and uh, gradually pulling away from them and after about 